The thing is with zombies is that there are so many of them that you'll never stop fighting them. But also, you'll never have to stop fighting them. Hello everybody, it's Scott here and we are playing through Sawdash. It's available on iOS and Android and I'm currently playing through on my iPhone. Now this is a hack and slash with roguelite elements. Basically what's happening is we are controlling this mysterious girl, we don't know much about her, and we have to try and destroy the advancing zombie hordes in order to collect the discs that they have stolen from us. And as you can see from this very built sledgehammer wielding one, the zombies can come in all different shapes and sizes. Every time you defeat a wave of the zombies, this pod drops down and we are able to take a special perk in order to help us through the game. The perks change each level, each different time, so it's always something different. It's always a unique playing experience with each round that we go through and it just keeps things varied and also different zombies pop up. I haven't seen this one before. Oh, okay, it's a bit of a bit of a launcher it is. All right, let's just try and get in. Okay, so controls wise, very simple. Left side joystick, we're moving around right now. I should have avoided that. And I'll tell you how to dodge that. What you have to do is you have to press the dodge button, which is this little dodgy person in the bottom left on the right hand side of the screen, that bottom left button there. There's a limited amount that you can do. As you can see, the stamina bar is going down, so you have to wait for it to refill. There are also a couple of other abilities as well. Just above it, this is a special ability that's gonna be on a cooldown. I'll use that right now. And we chose this as one of the perks. It fires off a few drones, apparently. Now, this one that's in blue, this is a very special attack, and I'm gonna use it right now. And that causes massive damage to everybody on the screen, and that only refills with every hit that you land. So it's not gonna be a cooldown. You have to actually get your hands dirty in order to refill it. Let's keep upgrading this one. Yeah, absolutely. Now with this, you are able to upgrade everything when you get off into the menu screen. You're able to upgrade your weapons, your armor, helmet, footwear, all of that upgrade the different special abilities that you use. The one that was in blue, that changes. So you can use different ones and it'll be different things. Let's use this ladybug one again. I think it was called launch bug or something. I didn't actually quite read what it was. So you're able to put in a lot of time in order to upgrade it the way you want it and make it your own play style. Ladybug guard, increase ladybug. Every basic attack sends out a slash wave. Yeah, let's do that. I like the, I like the idea of that. Now this is a free to play game. I should restore my HP, thank you very much, because I was so focused on telling you everything about it that I actually got wailed on quite a bit there. Now, as I was saying, this is a free to play game. There are options to spend real world money, of course, and that will get you new currency. If you wanted to, you're able to purchase, ooh, that was a big hit, you're able to purchase in-game currency in order to unlock new weapons, in order to unlock new armor and all of that type of stuff. Upgrade your way through to give you a little bit of an advantage, but I've been playing so far and it hasn't seemed to be that much of an issue. Okay, let's keep on going through. Something that I'm really liking about it, when I first loaded up, I was like, oh, this is nice. It's kind of the 2D drawn animation but in a slightly 3D aspect. And I know I'm not explaining that very well, but you get what I mean. It's not necessarily like it's cell shaded 3D models, but it just gives like a 2D animation on a 3D plane. And I really like that. It just added a little bit of dyna dynamism to it. That's, that's a word I think I've said for the first time. I'm gonna try and keep my distance here because I've only got 139 health left. I'm gonna keep sending out these. Whew. Now, as you can see, oh, I, I said I was going to keep my distance, and then I didn't. Okay, luckily, there's a bit of a wind-up before he attacks. So I'm just going to keep dodging out the way. But I'm going to get in close to do so. Send out the, these drones again. If you look in the top right corner, you'll be able to see where we are in relation to the wave. So 5 out of 10. We're about halfway through right now. Hopefully, there's going to be another... Oh, let's have a look. 20% damage... Increased damage of Exiled Slash. Let's do the increased damage of Exiled Slash. That is our normal attack that's sending those waves across the floor, just like that, okay. What I'm hoping is there's gonna be another healing station soon because I am in dire need of some health. So I'm gonna just keep coming in and then just dipping out again, just in and out. There we go, get in, get done, get gone. 
And it's opened up a little bit more, but I think there's gonna be some, oh, there's a few big bads over here. And these ones that run at you as well, they just like to just, ah, see, took a bit of health there. Okay, big, big damage right there. Let's take you down and just get in before they get back up. Get in, ooh, come on. Oh, wow, I'm, no, I'm not gonna survive this round. Absolutely not. I think this might be curtains for old mysterious girl with the katana right here. Max HP to 370, I wonder if that's gonna, oh, yes it did, we restored a little bit, I'm glad of that, thank you. Okay, let's send out some drones. See, that came in the nth minute, that little ex machina right there. I hope I used that correctly. Just coming in to help save us. And that's the thing about the perks, as I'm sure you've played on other roguelike games when you're just going through and you can just choose a different one. So this, I've been playing this for a little bit. I've had so many different abilities and so many different perks that have come through. I haven't actually repeated any. There are some that are basic, like, oh, 20% to damage and all of that. But there are some very unique ones, like, oh, when you use your slash, it gives like a paralysis effect or a poison effect and all these different special abilities, which is the middle one where I'm sending off the drones. Let's, every 10 basic attacks on hit, slash around. I might just max HP again, restore a bit of HP. Yeah, so that one where we're sending off the drones, that is almost a unique one each time. I haven't had the same special ability twice yet, and I like that. It gives a different thing. I'm not the biggest fan of these drones, I think maybe because I haven't put a lot of time upgrading them. I kind of wasted that special right then. Ah, well, it got two of them down. Yeah, that's fine. Increase damage, 20%. Be invulnerable to the next attack. No, let's do let's do that. Let's upgrade. I was I was just waiting talking about that. The the bug drones, but let's actually upgrade them. Okay. So the scenery as well changes each time. Now we're in a forest. We'd have to jump into the forest in order to sort of recover because the zombies have stolen one of our special discs. And we want to get the get it back. I didn't know zombies had a advanced knowledge of computer systems but they've got one of our special discs that we have to try and get back and we've gone into the forest before we was going through some abandoned streets so the levels do shift up all times and different waves of zombies and different looks and styles and attacks that they do that l l launcher right there that lurker that just keeps throwing themselves at us oh my gosh okay of some very powerful pheromones or something. Let's jump out of the way. Right, the next one is the last level of this round and I'm saving my special for that. Okay, so exile slash deals, paralysis, burning, or vulnerability. Let's do burning. I like the idea of just adding a little bit of heat to it and hopefully we can upgrade. Yeah, let's get some health. I usually go for the damage, but I have lost a lot of health here. Right, this is the final boss. Warning, here it comes. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's got, it jumps at us and it's got a chainsaw for a head. Beautiful. That's exactly what we wanted. That's everything and more. Oh my goodness. Okay, folks, we just have to keep dodging this because who wants to be at the receiving end of a Glaswegian kiss with this chainsaw-headed ne'er-do-well right here? That burning... Slash is doing a little bit of damage, like a little bit of residual damage. You can see 54, 54, 54. I'm liking that. I'm happy with that. Send off the drones again. You do your business. A little bit of extra. Oh, okay. That's it. You've got your buddies to come and back you up now, have you? Oh, okay. Let's try and get you out the way with. Oh, rather than old chainsaw head over here. Okay. Send out the drones. Send in the drones. And out the way, and now dodge before they try and give us a little, a little kissy there, a little kissy with the T. Okay, ultimate attack. Oh, that didn't actually do that much, did it? I did swap it before I had another one, and I decided to swap to this one because I thought it'd be better. But I'm getting the sense that it's not. Wow, that took a lot of damage. That side, because it is in a 3D arena. They can attack, even though it looks like they're just doing 2D, they can attack in three dimensions because that side attack really did a number on me right there. As they were going diagonally across the battleground and that's us down. That is us down. Do I have enough? Oh, 
Oh, I had enough to revive. Beautiful. Okay, so as you can see, you can use the currency, which is quite rare, or you can watch an advert in order to do so. I didn't want to watch an ad right then, but it is an option that you have, so keep that in mind. Come on now. Just a few more. Now we've got almost full health. I don't want to fail again, but send out the drones. Actually, if I wail on these little ones, these these launchers, lurkers, these things here trying to give us headbutts, I might be able to get my ultimate attack up again. And then that should do a nice little bit of damage. Beautiful. Send out the drones and just keep on hacking and slashing. Just keep... Oh, okay. See a little Naruto run across the field right now. Come back. Okay, little hack and slash. Send out the drones, hacking and a slashing, and that is you down. Time to change your teeth. I don't know. Something about chainsaws. I can't think of a pun. But that is us done. We've unlocked some new tech that we can use in later missions. And this is what the menu screen looks like. I'm just going to give you a little look at this before we end the video. So technology. This is sort of our skill tree. And we're able to pour our currency and everything into this. It does take time in order to upgrade. So clicking on this right here. Critical rate is up by 1% and it's going to take 10 minutes at a cost of 600 coins. We've got 33,000 coins, so there's no problem with the actual coinage right there. It's just the time, but attack 20, I'm going to put the research into that. Actually, yeah, complete it now. Why not? And then there we go. Then for the hero, we have all these different abilities right here that we're able to upgrade. We can enhance each part that we get. So actually, I'm going to change this out because I wasn't the biggest fan. But I wonder if I can enhance this. Yeah, all right, I'll enhance this. So you can enhance each individual item. And now I can equip it. That is much more powerful than the other one. It's on level six. And we can change out all of their outfits and all of that. Of course, there's resources that you have to use in order to do so. And you may run out of them. So keep an eye on. But all this type of upgrading will get you better attacks. All the different abilities, critical, basic attacks, 10%, all of that. You can read all that. And then into the store itself, all types of different things. You've got the daily supply, login bonuses, all the different skins that you unlock from the special currencies that you can buy in the store. And then I believe that's right. For £10, you can skip all advertisements forever. And that's just a little look at Swordash. Let us know down below, what do you think? Are you going to have a go at this game? Do you enjoy these type of hack and slash roguelite type of mashups? Let us know in the comments below. But for now, my friends, luck and more to you all and catch you next time.